It's your girl Lolo. What's cooking with Lolo? And thanks for tuning in to see what I got going on today. You know what? I was thinking. You remember when we were little and we didn't like meatloaf? Well, guess what? I have made it exciting to eat again. We're gonna do a juicy, taste delicious meatloaf tonight for dinner. Okay? And believe me, you will not be disappointed. Okay? So. Stay tuned while we get all this together, okay? Don't forget, like, comment, and subscribe, okay? Do not forget to subscribe if you haven't already, okay? Do not forget, all right? And also, press that notification button so there's pull every time I upload a video, you'll know about it. All right, so without further ado, let's get this meatloaf rolling. Yeah, check it out, guys. We do have a lot of happenings right here to get this meatloaf juicy and taste delicious okay i'm not playing y'all know how i get down i have about four pounds of um ground beef here i have one large half of one large onion cut i have a, a half of a large green pepper half of a large red pepper we got two eggs we have some bread crumbs and you know of course you know how i give it up i do not play 10 cloves of fresh chopped garlic there. We have a half a four ounce can of mushrooms. Yes, I do like mushrooms in my meatloaf. If you don't, that is fine. That is an optional thing, okay? We have some brown sugar. We have some apple cider vinegar. That's about two tablespoons, but um, we may not use two, all, both of the tablespoons, but we'll see. Of course, our house seasoning, of course, of course, of course. We have uh, a small can of tomato paste, two cups of ketchup. We're gonna use some Worcestershire sauce. Also, we have a half a cup of milk there. All these ingredients that you see here, we are going to use um, for our juicy, taste delicious meatloaf. So stay tuned while we put this all together. Okay? So before we get started, I have a hot pan here with um, about two and a half tablespoons of olive oil. Before we put this meatloaf together, what you want to do is make sure that you take those onions. The red pepper. And the green pepper. And we want to saute these vegetables before we put them into our meatloaf. Do not put raw vegetables inside your meatloaf. You should be cooking these down. You don't want to taste the rawness, you know, in the meatloaf. Um, they won't cook all the way down, okay? So you want to help them out a little bit and saute them and cook these down before we put them, you know, in the meatloaf. Yes, they will cook some in the, in the meatloaf while the meatloaf is cooking, but mm, the taste is not the same. So make sure you saute these vegetables first, okay? And again, this was half of a large onion, half of a large green pepper, and half of a large red pepper. So we're gonna cook these down for about five minutes. We're gonna turn off the fire, let them cool, and then start putting our um, meat up together. So it's been about three and a half minutes. I just added in the garlic, all right? Oh my goodness, you should smell this right here once you put that garlic in it is so flavorful it smells so good and i'm gonna let this go for about another minute and a half and then we're going to uh, add this into our meatloaf and then get that mixed up While we're waiting for our vegetables to saute, let's go ahead and start putting this meatloaf together. Now, again, we have our four pounds of ground beef here. Now, that half a cup of milk, we're going to take both of those eggs and we're going to crack them inside of the milk. Now, to that milk, we're gonna add a couple of tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. A 
and I'm going to use three tablespoons. Now, give that a good mix. So you have the half a cup of milk, the two eggs, and three tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. Gonna mix that right up in there. And then guess what? Just dump it all over that meat. Now, to that, we're going to add three-fourths cup of breadcrumbs our house seasoning. Now put as much or as little seasoning as you want. You do not use have to use my house seasoning. Again, uh, put in any seasoning that you want um, that you like your meatloaf to taste, okay? Then we have that half of a four ounce can of mushrooms. And to that, the tomato paste. Remember the can of tomato paste? Put it all in there. The whole little six ounce can. Now make sure you get it all out of there. So our vegetables have cooled, okay? Make sure that you let them cool because you are going to be putting your hands in here. If you're not gonna be mixing this with your hands, that's fine. Then don't let it cool and mix it up with the spoon or fork or whatever you're gonna use. That's all good. All right, so I like to play with my food. So guess what? I'm mixing this all up with my hands. Messy, messy, messy. I used to love to do this when I was a kid with my mom. And my mom and my grandma would cook meatloaf. They like, you want to mix this up? Yeah. Because I just love playing with the food. I love to get in there and do that. And again, those vegetables, onions, green peppers, red peppers, if you don't eat them, excuse the pot that just fell in the sink. <laughs> but if you don't eat them, that's fine. You do not have to add it. Okay? But I like to add those layers of flavor in there. Mushrooms, again, optional. You don't have to add it. If you don't like it, that is fine. All right, so this looks pretty good. We're going to... Wash our hands and get this into whatever pan that you're going to cook it in, okay? Let's wash our hands, get cleaned up. Although we're just going to mess our hands up again, but I don't want to touch the pan and then have to go back and touch this. You know what I'm trying to say. Be right back. So now that the meatloaf is mixed up and we need to now make our sauce. This is about two cups of ketchup. I have some apple cider vinegar here. This is about two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, which I'm just gonna pour into the ketchup, as well as our brown sugar. Now, we can add this in a tablespoon at a time, okay? This is about five tablespoons I got sitting in here. I don't wanna add all of it in at one time unless I have to. I need to sweeten this. I do not like the tart taste of uh, the ketchup on the meatloaf you know I want it kind of sweet so that's about three tablespoons so let's start with that we're just gonna mix this up that apple cider vinegar will thin out the ketchup a little bit and again add the brown sugar in a tablespoon at a time of course I'm making a mess that's just me make sure you mix it up really well We're also going to add into that ketchup some spicy brown mustard. 
So, to that apple cider vinegar, that ketchup, and the three tablespoons of brown sugar we put in there, I am going to put in one tablespoon of spicy brown mustard. Let's mix that in. Give that a good stir, okay? Make sure you mix that really well. And then taste it as you go along to see um, how sweet you like it or not sweet. Again, this is optional. You can just use the ketchup and the mustard and just put it over top of the uh, meatloaf before you put it in the oven. All right. So three tablespoons is good. I'm going to add one more. Just for good luck because, again, I like mine sweet. And believe me, you won't be disappointed. It tastes really, really good. All right, so let's try that again. Perfect. If you want it sweeter, you can go ahead with that last tablespoon and a half of uh, brown sugar. All right, so I'm going to take a little bit of olive oil and put into the bottom of my baking dish here. I did line the baking dish with some foil, trying for easy cleanup, okay? Trying for easy cleanup. Doesn't always work that way, but again, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna take my brush here and just brush this olive oil around. Again, it's optional. This is just something that I do. You don't have to do that. All right, so let's take our meatloaf. We're going to dump it in our pan here. And we're going to mold it to the way that you want it. A lot of meat here. Try to get that meatloaf shape. You know, it's all in the mind, I think. All in the mind, all in the mind. Try to spread it out a little bit in the pan. Might not be the prettiest thing, but I bet you it'll still get eaten. Mm, this smells so good. And again, use whatever pan that you like. I like this pan kind of deep. Cause it's a lot of meat right here. It's gonna pull off a lot of, a lot of juice. All right, so remember that sauce we made? You can add a little bit of crushed red pepper to it. That's the way my fiance loves that. So I did add a little bit to it off camera. So I am going to pour this on top of the meatloaf. I'm not gonna pour it all. I'm gonna use like half because when the meatloaf is done, you can use the rest of this, you know, as sauce. For your meatloaf as gravy for your meatloaf although it's not gravy but we can use that so i'm just going to cover the meatloaf with that beautiful sauce we just made ketchup sauce ketchup sweet sauce i should say i'm gonna pull a little bit more on there and again your preference you don't have to you can use as much or as little as you like but I do like to keep some for you know when the meatloaf is done to pour it over the meatloaf when we get ready to eat all right so in the oven it goes 350 degree preheat preheated oven I am going to leave it uncovered we're gonna cook this anywhere from an hour to an hour and 15 minutes okay we'll check it back at an hour more than likely it's gonna go a little longer like to make sure this baby's done. All right, I'll see you back then. So after about an hour and 15 minutes in the oven, our baby is done. I'll tell you, this looks like so gorgeous. I can't tell you the smell and the aroma that is in my house right now from this meatloaf. Delicious. Let's get this baby plated up. All right, guys, so there we have it our taste delicious 
meatloaf. Check it out, check it out, check it out. With some mashed potatoes and some broccoli. After an hour and a half, excuse me, an hour and 15 minutes of cooking, this is what we got. Looking good, looking good, looking good. And we are done. I hope you enjoyed watching. Don't forget, like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time. Enjoy.